to help people get started with these STM32 boards, I've put together this uh, Ubuntu image uh, with the tool chain, some things you need to get started. So you should be able to download this image and uh, log in as Ubuntu and the password is reverse. And first thing to do, if you plug in your board, you should be able to, in the USB menu, you should be able to see it as a prolific USB serial controller. In my case, I've got the board with the smaller LCD. If I enable that, and then uh, I bring up a terminal and I run a D message, I should see that it's, uh, yep, it's connected to TTY USB 0. Um, I've got some, uh, so the code is in the workspace, which is an Eclipse thing, and then STM32 free RTOS example. This is the uh, the demo code. I've got a make file in here with some targets that allow you to download code to the board. So I think a good starting point is probably just to uh, make a change in the code and make sure you can get it onto the board. So I'm just starting Eclipse. If you uh, looked at the uh, the demo video. Uh, you could see that up in the top left hand of the screen there was the text demo so we're just going to make a quick change to that save it and try and download it to the board so I know that I'm TT on the devices on TTY USB 0 and I've got a target in there for that called make install 0 if it's on TTY 1 try make install 1 so I'm just going to change the jumper on the board so that boot 0 is set and then reset the board and then run this target see it compiling downloading to the chip see you know it takes takes quite a while with this image and now that's done I'm going to reset the board and now I see demo 2 in the top left hand part of the screen so that worked my change made it down um, so the other thing that I commonly do instead of um, using the STM32 loader that just loaded on the board I've got a device called a a bus blaster from Dangerous Prototypes. It's uh, a JTAG programmer essentially. It's a reprogrammable JTAG programmer. It's pretty cool. About 35 bucks. Allows you to download the code much faster. It also allows you to run GDB against the board. And um, the best thing about it is you don't have to fiddle with the jumper for the boot zero you can just hit make and it'll reset the board and download the code and you know start the board running again so yeah I recommend you get one of those